What is going on, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creighton TV. So, woo! In today's quick short video, I'm gonna show you the best settings that what I would recommend if you're using a Mac to use Streamlabs OBS on when you're streaming and recording at the same time. Also, if you're using a Mac and you want to you know stream well, I recommend that you get the Elgato HD 60s Plus. The Elgato HD 60 does work. I mean, Elgato HD 60s does work, but the Elgato HD 60s Plus works even better for Mac. It's more recommended, especially if you're using the M1 Mac and stuff like that, because the NDI source on the M1 Mac or Big Sur does not work. So. You know, links down in the description if you want to purchase yourself one. But that being said, let's get into the video. With the best settings I'm going to really recommend if you want to stream and record at the same time. So if you haven't seen my previous video when I was using Streamlabs and you've seen it in the video, like it kind of bugged out. That's because I had probably was using too much power and everything else. But what I wanted, while I was doing running some tests and checking out some things, what I would recommend, um, if you have a powerful machine, you can run, you know, stronger settings, but this is the settings that I recommend. So you see right now, right now I'm on Streamlabs OBS 1.1.2, the new software version. So everything's still right, you know, especially if this is just, you know, I'm running the Elgato HD 60S Plus, so I'm not using no NDI source, no none of that. So I recommend if you're using Mac to stream, upgrade and get the new one. So just a little quick video right here. You see my CPU right here. It's gonna go up higher than that because I'm screen recording at the same time. But you wanna click on your settings. You wanna set up everything right now. Click on your settings. You wanna go to output. Make sure you're over here in advanced mode. And for your streaming, you know, you got audio track one. Uh, you don't need enable Twitch VOD. That's something really, something else that Twitch came out with. Yeah, I tried it out, it's weird. So you know, you gotta worry about that. But the encoder, you want to know if you have a strong, powerful Mac, you know, like if you're running a dedicated graphics card, something that you want to do, Apple H.264 hardware encoder. If you don't, then you can run software. I will show you the settings to that. I'll show you the software ones right now. So if you're running just software, software H.264, control bit rate right here, bit rate, all depending on your internet upload speed, or, you know, when you're uploading data to the internet. Uh, all depending on if you have five megabits or, um, or higher, you can run higher bit rate. So if you do have that, you know, you're in the bar pad, like 10 megabytes, stuff like that, you can push it up. Just check your streaming software, what they recommend for bit rate, you know, to be in a good plus or rise same so you can run a decent video stream call so you're not buffering or lagging frames. Uh, me, I will put mine at 6,000. Keyframe on the rolls, you can do either zero or two. I like to do two, Twitch, Twitch. Twitch recommends two, you know, very fast profile. You want to do high tune. You want to do zero latency. And then other than that, that would be that for um, if you're going to stream with just the software. If you want to do some recording, recording will be the same pathway. You know, you choose where you want your video to go. Type standard uh, recording format, MP4, audio track number two, recording software, you want to do uh, same thing, X.264, control bit rate. If you have higher, you know, it will come whatever what uh, you set your first bit rate to. So I left mine at 6,000, which is, you can still run that, you know, it's still pretty good. Key intervals two, very fast for CPU usage, profile high, tune zero, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So that will be that setting if you want to record and stream at the same time using Streamlabs OBS on the Mac. And I remember, I also am running the Elgato HD 60s Plus. So, because if you got, because for you guys that got Big Sur and uh, or M1 Mac, NDI source with the Elgato HD 60s does not work. It's a um, pro problem. So you might want to just upgrade to the Elgato HD 60s Plus. Links in the description. Use my links. Thanks. It helps out the channel. Helps me bring out more stuff for the channel. Now, if you're running a different way, what you can do is go back to streaming. And if you have a dedicated graphics uh, processor in your device, you know, you want to come into hardware encoder, Apple version, and you know, change my bit rate back to 6,000, key intervals two, profile high, and that'll be everything it for right there. My recording, because I have high internet, I uh, tested out a few things. I can push by, uh, I left it still, everything, my recording is still the same, software, my bit rate, I can do 6,000. I've been testing out things. I can go all the way up to 20,000, but it all depends on your internet upload speed. But I figured, you know, just doubling it is, you know, sufficient, best, 
that's the way to go leaving everything else the same make sure you put your audio track at two and supposedly now you can record multiple audio tracks i haven't tested that out yet but i'm gonna keep i'm gonna try to do some works and see how that works test uh, recording and streaming multiple audio tracks um leave it on very fast profile high tune zero latency and you should be good to go from there your audio and then you can make that to 48 samples stereo everything else should be set up oh yeah so your base canvas what i have found out you know what recommends best especially if you play it on console uh base canvas you can put 1920 by 1080 that's what your monitor is putting out whatever and then the output uh you can if you want to run higher but just just let you know if you run a higher output it will raise your cpu usage it will raise it a lot uh, may may cause you to lag or cause a little delay may that's only if your machine can handle it if your machine can't handle it 1280 by 720 is super fine and then uh you can put this either between 16 and 32 samples i'm just doing 32 common fps values and then 60 you know it still looks good decent quality where it doesn't lag out or stuff like that uh -oh. you should be all good set up ready to go and then you can go down here done as you can see right now in the bottom corner down here you see my cpu usage basically you can see it's like 22 between 19 and 22 percent I'm still at 60 FPS and all that. That's only because I'm screen recording. When you're not screen recording and you're trying to screen record at the same time, I usually average around six to seven percent. But right now it's just gonna be high because I'm screen recording at the same time. So that being said, make sure you also check your advanced settings and you have what you want to be on certain tracks, like my I show you capture or everything else. I'm still testing out the works around recording multiple traps using Streamlabs. Supposedly that feature is here. Now you can record multiple tracks. So I'm still testing that out. Stay tuned for a future video on that and how you set that up properly. That being said, that is the best recommended settings. I would recommend to use the Streamlabs on the Mac. Now, you, if you have a strong Mac like I do, you know, fully maxed out. Sorry about that weird cut, you guys. If you have a fully maxed out uh, machine, then like I do, you can run, like I told you, you can run in your video, uh, 1920 by 1080 you can you know push it higher i do both of them back and forth but i was testing out right now for you guys that don't have a really strong mat the 1280 by 720 still decent and works sufficient just make sure you, you know change your bit rate so if you have your bit rate so you have 10 upload speed um for um for your internet and you got your bit rate set to about 3500 4500 just double that number to your recording and you should be sufficient and be ready to go but that being said, if you did enjoy this video, like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. We're on our way to 1,800 subscribers. Woo! We're trying to hit the imaginary goal of 3,000 subscribers of the by September the 7th. So if we can hit 3,000 su subscribers by September the 7th, that would be really appreciated. Because why? I turned 30 years old on that day, September the 7th. Mark your calendars. But other than that, I hope you did enjoy this video. God bless everybody. It's your boy Brandon coming to you from Crate TV. And I'm signing at it. Peace.